so fucking over this fucking internet. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> Nicotine gum reminder. My fucking man. We good? We live? <laughs> Fuck. Yes? All right, cool. I'm so sick of it. I'm so fucking sick of it. It's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. So here is uh, a new approach, at least to, to adapt to what we're seeing uh, with this cycle of things. Each of these regions represents a fractal. And what I mean by that is... Okay, so what I, what I mean by that is this. Uh, I need to fix the coloring. Uh, wait. Can I just do... Fuck. Fucking hate this shit. Uh, isn't there a way to? There we go. And I think the area that's created uh, under this has something to do with the next move, and I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so you see how each of these are the same iteration of itself? Um, I'm going to zoom out. I want you to take note of how you continue to see the same thing come into picture as I zoom out. Load, please. Jesus, fuck. Load, please. Jesus, fuck. Load, please. Jesus, fuck. Nope. Alright, I wanted to do like a smoother version of that, but evidently I can't. 
But as you zoom in, you see the same thing taking place. So we're about to have the gap fill to go up. Uh, oh fuck. A grown ass man in a frog suit. Let's believe what he's saying. <sighs> Love you, bro. Keep up what you're doing. It's for the greater good. Yo, Eastein? Eistein? <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Thank you. My fucking man. The $50 holla! Thank you, Chief. Very much appreciated. Um. So, uh. With, with this approach in mind. Uh, you get some interesting, uh, results. And I think that all of these are, are Fibonacci related. I think that the levels, the the amount of time it takes relative to its previous iteration, um, all of that is at play here. So it's just it's really odd to see this in such con concentration, uh, which is why I've always been so adamant about the the cycle idea, is because no matter where you look, it's the same shit. Um, and if you just change your lens a little bit. Uh, you can even spot it back in the January cycle. It's the it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing, uh, and we're just trying to find that that magic variable, and um, figure out how to calculate it. And you even you even see sub fractals within. Like right here. It's extremely odd. They're making a line bend endlessly by bending inward on itself with recursion. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, there's a video on my channel. I think it's called... Uh, a data approach of, of why we haven't squeezed yet, I believe. It's something along the lines of that. It was made a couple months ago. It features a three-dimensional chart that shows how it creates a spiral. We, uh, we plotted volume, price, and uh, time. And you can see that the, the price is uh, positively correlated with volume. And so with that, uh, you'll see a literal loop form. And then we see the shadow of that as the price chart. Because you take something three-dimensional, you cast the shadow, and you get two dimensions. And that's what this is. Yo, run tag. Good morning, man. Stop, please. Thank you. You know what happens when you try and make an arc with this? I have no idea. I thought it would be a bit more uh, linear than that.
have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I have no clue. Use the curve tool? I thought that's what this was. <sighs> <clears throat> Oh. What fucking dumbass. Shit. <laughs> Going backwards in time, boys. Not sure how what are you doing, fuck. Step bro? Super Frankie donated five dollars. Fuck you, Is Super it Frankie. Late to buy prog and when could we expect another rise? Uh I have no clue. I've only been looking at prog uh just intermittently. Um Yeah, I got no clue, my friend. Sorry for the lackluster answer. That's interesting. That is interesting. It's like a hurricane projection path. That's fucking wild. Wow. So, by me just creating curves this way, and when you apply them in a retroactive fashion, or retro-directional, uh, it, it still highlights key points on the chart. So all I did was just match curves to the floor of each of these fractals. Yeah, this should be the gap fill up. I mean, you can see it even right here. Same shit. Gotta take two months off to repair my normal life. Yeah, that's basically what I've been doing in all of this downtime with my parents. I've been just trying to get my shit together. 
shit was shit was getting rough. A lot of you have been here. <clears throat> A lot of you have been here before. <clears throat> the relative relative success of, of where we're at now. I've I've told you guys that I've literally wouldn't wash my clothes. I hadn't washed my clothes in like five months, man. I would just get up, work, stream, get up, work, stream, get up. just never stopping. And then I went full time with this and still didn't wash my fucking clothes. I had the worst fucking sleep schedule. I finally have a normal one now, by the way. Um, yeah, the shit you gotta, you really gotta fucking make sure that if you're, if you're alongside all of us with the, the charting or the DD fucking take care of yourself. Healthy routines, yeah. Yeah. So excuse my piss poor attitude in here sometimes. The saga is weighing heavy. Self care is yeah. Hang in there, man. Hang in there. It's 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 extremely frustrating. Everybody's narrative or, or perception of this is that there there's no there's no predictability, there's no uh um uh, what do you call it? It's it's manipulated, so therefore you can't you can't try and predict it, which is totally untrue. That's not to say that it's easy, but it's not it's not true. Um, and so you're trying to to find the melody to the madness in it, and it's fucking it's it's extremely taxing. And on top of that, if if you're somebody who is just a part of this in general. It's it's very frustrating. Um, I do have to, uh, uh, what do you call it? I have to end the stream early today because I've got an appointment that I got to go to and I've also got to stop by the apartment complex. I think I get to move in today. I think I get to move in early. I'm going to find that out, but I have to stop by and send some more paperwork. Well, that's an AMC video, and it was a Minecraft clone coding, lol. Fuck you. I was curious. Oh, that's fucking wild. Whoa. So the, the curve that I was drawing, right here and right here, both capture these movements. So why is this one not? Did I not draw one for that? What? You guys seeing this? So I was drawing, I was, I was applying a curve to each of these floors. What the? Oh, that was after hours. By by drawing out these curves, you can see exactly how this figure right here has this line being drawn through it. Look at the look at where the chart goes over it and then under, and then look over here, and you can see exactly how this is just a, a larger version of this. So why didn't I get it right here and here? I almost had it right here.
Any ideas? Any thoughts? You've gotten everything wrong, LOL. Yep. Oh, you already packed, or do you pack like me the day of with trash bags? Yeah, the, the latter. There's a lot of Fibonacci-esque things popping up here. How little can this fractal get? That's the que that's a good question, actually. Because I know it goes down to the tick. Um, if you if you treat that that question as like an asymptote, which uh, if you're not familiar with that, is basically just a a, a value of some sort that as you approach it. Uh, the the adjacent value would become um, infinitesimal. It's like in calculus, you have limits. Um, I imagine that that's where you would see the next run happen, is when it becomes that compressed. And that's what we're seeing right now. I just, I'm wondering what then would 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 modify that idea. Yo, S dot, let's let's talk. Like, I'm not even trying to be an asshole. Let's talk. I want to know why your perception of me is that. I'm not. I'm looking for a genuine conversation. I really want to know why. Can someone give him a link to the Discord? I I just I literally just want to talk.
He's just jelly. There's nothing to be jealous about. I don't know what. Like. Dude, is just being weird. Yeah, no, I know. I, I genuinely just want to, un like, you can come in here and call me any name, any slur, any trash talk you want. I don't care. One, I just want to make sure that you're even real. And two, I want to figure out just man to man why, why your perception of me is the way it is. Wait, I perceive you in a horrible way. Can you talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, Daddy? Is he still in here? Don't even bother with it. You'll notice it never ends up well. Can it, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. But it's worth just for for my for my curiosity's sake. I I'm curious. I just want to know. And I just I really just want to know if this particular individual is real. Anyone else? Anyone? Anyone who's butthurt today? In the chat. If you'd like to talk, if you'd like to literally say what you're saying in text to me, you're more than welcome to come in the Discord and literally enunciate it. This is your golden opportunity. And I appreciate all the all the real people in here and all the all the kind words. I don't know how else to say it. I genuinely just want to know, one, if these people are real, and two, why they think the way they do. Is Dot still in here, or did he leave? I used to think Astro was a stereotypical Florida man, but now I understand he's next level. <laughs> pick me, pick me. I want to come on the mic, but only to bash the duck boy. <laughs> That's amazing. It's amazing. It's like, uh... I was going to say V for Vendetta when, uh... Evie realizes that the the guards in the hallway were fake. 
And when you when you confront the enemy, they just vanish. You talk tons of shit. You make yourself loud and proud, and then you get called out for it, and you fucking vanish. He's gone, I can't highlight- okay, cool. Yo, Mark, thank you. Doesn't Dot have the right to point out when someone is wrong? Yeah, absolutely, everybody does. But there's a there's a very clear distinction between being wrong on uh, uh, an idea that is for a very select amount of time and a theory that tries to encapsulate an entire stock market. The amount of instances required to prove the former is wrong is just that moment that was being observed. To prove that the theory is wrong requires theoretically an infinite amount of time. I have humility in being wrong. I take pride in it. A lot of people are too afraid to even to, to come up with an idea, let alone share it. And not to mention broadcasting it almost every day. If somebody's wrong, and they don't own up to it, and they continue to just spout bullshit, now you have a case for, for being a little bit on the offense. But I've, I've constantly fucking preached about being forthright in one's own error. Because if one continues to go about their process without evaluating and correcting for that error, then at that point, it's just insanity. Doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. If you don't make mistakes, exactly. If you don't make mistakes, then you're not trying. No DD, no dates, what the fuck? just had this thought because for some reason I feel extra based today. I have never seen in my life a group of people get so angry at one person trying. Let's be real for a second. And I'm in a, I'm in a great fucking mood and I'm, I'm, I'm taking solace in the fact that I'm not fucking butthurt about something right now. Have you ever noticed that of all of the fucking things that you've ever seen in your life, and I know that there's a range of ages in here. I'm fucking 22, and I'm sure there's somebody in here that's older than that. Right? So we have some form of a gradient to work with as far as wisdom goes. Can anyone in here over the age of 22 tell me if they've ever seen such a, a critical... No, 
critical is not not even a good word for it because it's not in any form of criticism it's just hatred and pompousness 57 51 42 okay 49 31 33 36 45 31 27 28 23 waiting for the 69 someone's gonna say 69 37 47 30 35 78 jesus fuck says astro's mustache nope you're about 78 days old um okay has anyone in here ever seen such a hateful and and just angry angry fucking group of people in the direction of of someone trying I don't want theories. I don't want <laughs> MW2 lobbies. True, true, true. Very true. That's probably the closest equivalent to something like this. There's a fucking Call of Duty lobby from 2009. So many people get so angry over someone trying to take a, a shot at it. Why? Why? You look at any other science in the past, and and someone's going to say, well, this isn't a science, and if it's not to you, I'm sorry to hear that. So let's just, for the sake of appealing to the slowest member of, of the idea, let's let's appeal to, to removing that and just consider a broader scope. Has anyone ever seen a group of people get so angry at someone trying? It baffles me. It baffles me. Like, just, just, comp I'm turning this fucking thing off. Just for a fucking moment. Just for a moment. Forget the stock. Forget money. Forget everything. Just think back to a more innocent time. Have you ever seen people get so angry at one person taking a crack at something? It's normal? No, it's not. In this instance, it's become normal, which is unfortunate. Maybe I'm just oblivious to it. Maybe I'm just completely oblivious to it. Because that's... I've always just tried something new. That's that's who I am. It's been my entire life. If you were here yesterday, I went over some, some anecdotes from my oh-so-wise 22 years of life. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins and Rosa Parks. What the fuck? <laughs> The juxtaposition of those two individuals is is uh, almost insulting. Okay, I, someone's mentioning Hitler. I, I I hope you're joking, but let's not involve really fucked up shit, please, because there's a difference between speculating a fucking graph and uh, annihilating and committing genocide against an entire people because of sheer ignorance. Okay, chat. Let's 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 try this one more time. Let's 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 act like we're all in a room right now having a mature, respectful, adult-like conversation. Like we're outside sitting behind the campfire. I've got my guitar in hand, strumming along to Guerrillionaires or some shit, all right? Have you ever seen in your in your normal day-to-day -day life, okay, forget the internet, in your day-to-day -day life, have you ever seen someone get so angry at one person taking a crack at something? Play 
59 less Paul? Yes, playing the 59 less Paul. What are you doing, step bro? Eson 666 donated $5. Fuck the hating keyboard warriors. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't know, because this is the rationale that I hear from most of these people that, that try to just stir shit up because they see someone trying, is that it's manipulated, it's unpredictable, uh, there's no rationale in trying to, to make sense of it. Well, I would argue, so are all of the games at a carnival. Do you go to carnivals on your own time? And start yelling at people for for trying to fucking land the ring on top of a bottle. Do you yell at people for throwing ping pong balls into miniature sized fish bowls? Do you yell at people when they're shooting a basketball at a fucking basketball hoop that goes against the grain entirely of that of which is considered a standard set of proportions for, for a game of basketball. So if this to you is that of a carnival game, which my apologies if that's considered straw manning, but that seems to have a lot of parallels in this, okay, then you should be at carnivals yelling at people for taking cracks at things. And furthermore... You come in here and yell at people who are just trying to support me and yell at them for giving me money. For supporting me. So now you should also be going to carnivals yelling at people for paying to play. But to me, this is not a carnival. This is a science. So if we put this in the scientific lens of things... Do you go around yelling at scientists for observing the universe, for trying to come up with the missing part of Einstein's work? Do you yell at quantum physicists because they're literally doing calculations against things that you can't perceive, let alone even quantify in your own head? I have given you the black and white, the, the purest of contrast in, in perspectives in this. And I still don't see any rational, legitimate, well-thought reason why you have any prerogative to come in here and be an asshole. It, it blows me away. It blows me away. Don't fight the internet. I am the internet. Galileo? True. If the carnival was online, yes, it would happen. True. <clears throat> you're expecting people to think like you. That's where you're going wrong. What do you mean? In the, in the analogy or with all the shit that I do? But you can bash on Matt Kors and it's okay, but when people bash you, it's not. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that I have some privilege in this. You know that Bat, Bat, you know that Matt has bashed me plenty of times before, right? And there are plenty of people who bash on me and I just roll with it. It's funny. Fighting trolls is a losing game? Not if you're having fun. And I have my own 
discrepancies with the way Matt does his thing, but it's his channel, his profile, his thing. You're getting mad, though. Matt, don't even listen to them. I'm not getting mad. I said earlier, I'm I'm in a very, like, Nirvana-esque headspace right now. And so I, I have a clearer lens to look through and perceive through. So I want to know why some people feel that it's necessary to, to just be an ass. Whether it's at the carnival or during an experiment. In general, yes, I would get mad at people for not seeing things the way I did, but I just accept that everyone sees shit differently and I don't make anything personal. It does get annoying. This is true. This is true. They're projecting. I agree. I wasn't aware about the math thing, just hearing about it right now. No, it's old news. But someone, someone made a point and I was giving my rebuttal. <laughs> Whoa, chill with the Nirvana headspace. Kurt didn't do so well with that. Too soon. It seems like the verdict is trolls, which well, I guess nothing has changed there, but I don't know. I don't know. To check out the master key by Charles F. Hanel? Hanel? I think you would really enjoy it. Uh, can you DM that to me on Twitter? Have you tried Jack Daniels? <laughs> I don't know. Just thinking. Back to the shit show. My bed is double Dorito. Uh, yeah.
You know the movie Office Space? I feel like whoever the fuck the guy was who was who was thrown into hypnosis by his fucking crazy girlfriend. Like waking up today was like me waking up from the fucking uh into that into that mode. I just don't fucking care. I'm fucking I'm on a cloud right now, I'm having fun. Thanks for making my work shifts better. When this is over, I can watch your show from home instead of in my office. Hey. Much appreciated, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Where the fuck? I want the spiral. Give me the spiral. I was jacking off. What did I miss? Uh, nothing.
Yo yo yo, let's go. Yo, yo. <laughs> Did the fractal fuck video disappear? Thanks, Detective McGruff. The what video? You Do the dog bark again. You Corporate accounts payable, Nina speaking. Just a moment. Fuck! That was such a well done movie.
<laughs> it's the same fucking shit. Here's today. Here's the past six fucking months. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Don't you love it? The silence is killing my anxiety. Yep. Oh, love this market. This is how stocks are supposed to be traded. Yep. Free market, fair market, fucking fantastic market. Need some GNR or are you on the guitar?
It's uh it's a short stream today. Um so I'm just chilling. Sam Marson donated five dollars. If the today today is the same as the last six months, is today's chart going to show us what is coming in the next weeks and months? Yes. Yes. So long as this is not uh, just a part of a of a bigger fractal, yes. Yo, Warren, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Glad you're glad you're learning. That's what it's all about. Just trying to do laundry. Can you please move steps, sis? <laughs> Damn gets so much shit, which I don't get. The guy basically gives us some free advice from his model that he charges people for. Take it if you want or don't, but people shouldn't bash it. <sighs> Wait, what am, I, what am I saying? You're you're a shill. You like Bab, you're a shill. No, oh, exactly. That's exactly it. And he has decades. Decades of trading experience, decades of stock analysis, decades of like it goes even beyond stocks. He's 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 got so many years in the game and he's trying to give people advice and, and people just get angry at him, despite him calling the fucking run in June. I love Bam. Bam's the fucking man.
Oh, here's something fun. And narcissistic. Let's do a personality test. Someone told me I should do this. Cat, do we do the personality test? Amy? Don't get in the way of my narcissism! Uh, you regularly make new friends. Uh, you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Uh, yeah. Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. I wouldn't say that it makes me want to cry. It makes me want to do something about it. But I'm guessing this is like an empathy question, so I'm going to go slightly to the yes. You have to make it back up? No. You should stay calm. Even under a lot of pressure. Strongly agree. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. This is actually yes. It depends on the situation, but yeah. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. Absolutely fucking not. You're very sentimental. Yes. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. Nope. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Strongly disagree. Uh, you feel comfortable just walking up to someone... You find interesting strike? Yes. You're not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analyses of creative works. Strongly disagree. Amy? This looks good. This looks really good. You're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. No. Uh, you usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular... Yes. You rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. Yes. You enjoy participating in group activities. Yes. Uh, you like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. Agreed. Your happiness comes from... Wait. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Strongly agree. Uh, you're interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Uh, depends on, like, the time frame, but typically I, I stay committed to, whatchamacallit, uh, whatever. I have, like, three things that I'll keep in rotation. So, like, pool, music, stocks, YouTube, whatever it is. Um, so I'll strongly disagree with that. You're prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Man, we should have all of Reddit take this. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. Strongly disagree. You are definitely not an artistic type of person. Strongly disagree. <coughs> you think the world will be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Going neutral on that shit. Uh, you prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. Strongly disagree. Amy likes narcissism, apparently. You enjoy watching people argue. It is kind of entertaining. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Depends on the situation. Depends on the situation. Go neutral. Your mood can change very quickly. Well, on the stream, sure. Uh, but in general, I'm going to say no. 
You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. Unfortunately, this is strongly true. I try to I try to keep tabs on that trait because it does get frustrating, but I like to help. You often end up doing things at the last possible. <laughs> yeah, you have always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens after death. Yes, you usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. Uh, strongly agree and strongly disagree. Depends on the setting. Go neutral. Uh, become bored or lose interest when the discuss discussion gets highly theoretical. Depends on the thing. Um, I have a weird balance of, of speculating on, on theoretical things being something that I enjoy and acting on the tangibles. There's always a huge contrast and it all depends on the subject. Um, I'm going to go neutral. I find it easy to empathize with a person who, whose experiences are very different from yours. Strongly agree. You usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Strongly agree. You rarely second guess the choices that you have made. Strongly agree. After, wait. <laughs> Uh, after a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. Ah. Yeah. You enjoy going to art museums. Eh? Neutral. You have to have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Strongly disagree. You like to have a to-do list for each day? <laughs> no. You rarely feel insecure. Uh, yes. Uh, you avoid making phone calls? No. You have to spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are... Yes. In your social circle, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. Yes. And if your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back... No. You were still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Yeah. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Strongly disagree. Uh, your emotions control you more than you control them. Strongly disagree. You take great care not to make people look bad even when it's completely their fault. Yes. Yeah, that's a big one. And that's where the question of... Um, the two questions of being frustrated and others' inefficiency and... Uh, uh, the world would be a better place if people acted more on rationale than decision making. Like, this is where that juxtaposition comes in between all of those. Um, if, and this is where like my idea of my ego comes from. For any of you interested in that, I know there's some some psychology guys and gals in here, but uh. I can have a big ego, but nine times out of ten, it's to take on the, the brunt of uh, social friction, if that makes sense. Like, if someone does something stupid, and it was like an innocent mistake, and it makes them look bad, I'll do something even more stupid, just to draw the attention away from them. Not only to help them, but also because of the fact that I know that I can handle it, that, that embarrassment. So, that's kind of the thinking behind that. Amy, you son of a bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come <laughs> on. What is lucid short interest? Uh, fifty-three point one percent. Where'd that go? It's pretty high, but the cost to borrow is not affected. Uh, your personal work style is closer to spontaneous versus of energy uh, than organized and consistent efforts. Yes. 
when someone thinks fuck what when someone thinks highly of you you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you uh yeah this is actually this has been a big part of my life um you would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time no uh you believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time uh i disagree with that you feel more drawn to places with busy bustling bustling atmospheres and quite what the f context clues tell me what this means but wait what full of activity bustling huh why do i keep fucking doing that um uh down the middle you know at first glance if someone is feeling yes does it feel overwhelmed? No, not generally. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. Strongly disagree. You're very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. Yes. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Yes. You struggle with deadlines. Yep. You feel confident that things will work out for you. Yep. The fuck? campaigner well i guess i was born a grifter boys <sighs> self shilling <laughs> i've gotten int p a lot too uh, in inf j i n f j. I used to take these once a week. Um, th that for like two or three months, just out of curiosity, and I averaged as as a um, inf j. I need to find that spreadsheet. What side is the test on? Uh, 16personalities.com. Interessante. <laughs> Curtis cheats on personality tests. Look into CHPT Wyckoff. CHPT as in, is that a ticker or is that like a section of Wyckoff? This test has nothing to do with ego and narcissism, by the way. Very true. Very true. Converging right here. I hope you can see that.
See how these are starting to fall inward alongside these? Uh, where did that last happen? Yeah. Here. Uh, here. It happened here as well, but this was going in a downward direction. This is going up. Ah! Did I scare you? No, but I was very confused. Oh. Aww. How you doing, brother? Good! Pretty good. good. Just chilling. Yeah. Everyone's feeling a bit bummed out. Um, I'm I was just wanting good. to play. Did you see Bitcoin last night? Uh-uh. Oh, I was dropping like a motherfucker. Um, I was, I was thinking, um... Obviously, you know everything. It's, it's a bit of a liquidity crisis, right? Yeah. Um, and I'm think I'm I'm personally thinking Bitcoin's like their second, like their third pool or something like that, and they're dumping Bitcoin to get cash so they can continue doing the fuckery. Like, remember in August when we were all thinking it was gonna run, and then they added another fractal on it. Yeah. So it continued yeah. to this. Um, I'm not saying they're gonna add another fractal. However, they're trying to delay this with the mm. with their liquidity with Bitcoin. Just trying to get every it's last a possibility. Hour. Yeah. Um, Nothing. It's on track for the run in May. I don't know if you remember that or not. How are you feeling about it? I'm just chilling, man. I know where it's gonna go. I just don't know when. It's it's as close as it's ever been. We've been saying that for a little bit. So it's just a matter of waiting. The mother of all weight. <laughs> have you eaten? And have you drink? Oh yeah, I got coffee. Got Good. some sweet tea. Ooh. Got some fucking eggs. Don't, Don't say you drink tea like. No, 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 no. no. American tea. American tea. Sweet tea. Oh, oh. <laughs> proper tea. I'm not gonna get in the way because I, I I have a run, but you need to have proper tea. Tea with like tea bag. Sugar, right. milk, that's property, my friend. You what, mate? Nah. <laughs> Fucking what, mate? Fucking tea and crumpets, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I love that meme. Hey, I've got a little project I want to tell you on. I want to get your little thoughts on it. Hmm? So, obviously, I'm not, like, as good as coding as you are, but, like, I learn. Um, and I'm trying to make, like, an interface for free, uh -huh. where people can see, um, I know it might be like a copycat of an unusual whales or all text or whatever, but it's kind of like a mini project. And uh, I want to like make an application where everyone can see what the, what the options chain is like every day, like how many options have been bought, how many, like what's the short interest, what's like everything right. that everyone talks about in terms of data just gets compiled into one application. Right. Um, it's going to cost. Um, but I want to make it as as free, if not as cheap as possible. Right. And I don't know, like, what's your thoughts on it? Do you reckon it would be a good idea, or do you reckon it shouldn't be a good idea because it's already out there? Uh, I love the idea, and I had made bits and pieces of it before, so I'll send you that. Um, mm -hmm. Only problem is, is that the 
the market in terms of those who would use it, not in terms of money, but just in terms of people who would use it, is extremely saturated. Mm -hmm. so, well, like, so, like you're saying, not many people would use it kind of thing? Uh, yeah, just because there's so many things out there. Um, but that's not to say that an all-in-one type thing wouldn't be cool. Um, mm. I don't know, your call. I, I dig mm. the idea. Yeah, no, I get what you mean, and that's what I thought. I was like, hmm, everyone's got an unusual whales, everyone's got old techs, you know. It's kind of already out there. Right. But I don't know, like, when I look at old techs, I'm just not really, hmm, that satisfied, maybe? I don't know if that's the right saying. What's um, that? I don't know if, like, I'm that satisfied when I'm looking at it. Like, I don't know, like, oh, yeah. like just, just, like, a feeling in me that I'm just like, hmm, I could do this better, maybe. Um... I don't know, it's just like a mini project, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just right. bored. Um, right, right, right. So it keeps me busy. Um, yeah. On better news, the Mitch store is fully completed. <gasps> um, I know. And uh, obviously, I told you about that package. And there's, a, I'm going to give you a USB that has a virus. <clears throat> I mean, um, I have you know there's a virus USB. going around? No, no. no. <laughs> there'll, be, <laughs> there'll be a USB. And then there'll be like a little trigger. And when you press this button, it'll go. It'll make the merch store go live, and certain little projects that huh. we can talk about. I dig um, it. It's fucking dope. yeah. You'll you'll like it. You'll like it. Um, I'm so pumped. Um, I think everyone also get, will be pumped. Um, patches, patches are being made. Not oh, not fuck. embroidered patches. They're just gonna be print on patches for the first editions, but then for the second one, it'll be like embroidered patches, so like stitched ones. Um. Pretty cool. That's fucking dope, man. It, it it goes with you know you know how you said you would like a denim jacket. Yeah. Um, there'll be like places where you would buy the denim jacket, and there would be room to sew on the patches as well. Huh. Um, just so like a I don't know like you know like like a little shit just to put on, so you can say that you went through I don't know this, and then the patch would be yeah. there. Yeah. On the patch. Um. No, it's fucking sweet. Pretty sick. I'm, I dig I'm it, man. To, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to go for like. I'm not being shady, but like you know, <laughs> some, some some YouTube YouTubers merch. <clears throat> My cause. Some 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 <laughs> YouTubers merch. Um, are a bit like the materials a bit shitty. Like what I mean by that is like you know it's thin, it's lightweight, it like it feels cheap if you know what I mean. Sure. And what I've tried, what I've tried done and found for one of your fans actually who do who like source uh huh. things like that it's like a really heavy nice quality t-shirt that you can like wash over time and it won't like go shitty if you know what i mean oh that's dope um that's dope. yeah oh, so some but, legitimate fucking yeah it's, like, it's yeah. like some good shit and it's i've i've made it as cheap as possible for everyone what yeah as cheap as possible and you no! know and you know Money! what? No, no, listen, 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 listen. This is for the fans, Astro. Fuck the this fans! Is... <laughs> oh fuck, am I alive? Oh shit, no. Oh, I mean, I mean, the, the the fans are good. The fans are good. Yeah, the fans are very profitable. I mean, um, I mean, Stick to the script, Chris. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But uh, guess what? Guess what, Astro? Guess what? Guess what, huh? young Samuel? You know, if you become a member for 99 cents, you know what else what? you get? You know, 99 cents! You know you God get damn! All... No, no, you get all the stuff that I talk about, but you, you know the one thing that blows everything away? Guess what you get? Discount codes. What? No! Discount codes. No. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Why not? It's all about the people, man. It's what do you mean? Just... It's not just the people. I'm fucking. I'm excited though. I'm excited. Me too. I'm excited. So um, on on better news, hashtag give goose a raise. When's that happening, man? <laughs> well, I was gonna <laughs> give you a raise with the money that we made from the merch store, but <laughs> uh, margins are looking a little tight. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, spam spam your shit in the chat. 
Am I even live? I don't want to eat a con spam on that line. Hold on. Bro, I've been killing it, man. Yo, Colton, uh, DM me on Twitter. I've been fucking killing it, thanks to you. Oh. Hold on. 21 trading days would put us around 12 sevenths. Does your fractal theory play out of the same timeline? Uh, there's a window of opportunity around there, yeah. I think Bam tweeted 12-7 as well. Sorry, guys, what'd you say? Oh, I was just saying I've been blowing on YouTube. Two, two, two sixty subscribers? Bro, I'm getting a better shit, ratio than my calls. Like my fucking Ambitious. Like my ratio? Shit. Get ratioed. <laughs> yeah, for real. I gotta jump in fifteen minutes, by the way. Maybe. What, you jumping off live? Yeah, I gotta go to an appointment and then I have to stop by my apartment complex to sign some shit. Ooh. Yep. Yep. I'm fucking ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You're gonna move out. You're gonna be a free man. Yeah. I can finally get laid again. <laughs> hey, no, no, we're, 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 we're Christians, remember? The man, man, of, man, man of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I can't wait to be able to do that shit again. Astro News and the fucking Reverend Rippy all come back when I move into this apartment. Can I be in the next lie? Uh, the, the Astro News? I want to I hand in, I want to hand in Kenny Griffin's resume in a McDonald's. Of course. We can have a international correspondent. <laughs> Put on like a really, really like stereotypic British accent. <laughs> what does that sound like? Um, fuck. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting here at McDonald's. Um, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. have Kenneth Griffin's resume here. Right. I'm about to hand it in. So yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Back to you, Astro. And I just like have I just have a cup of tea just holding. <laughs> I love it. Actually, fuck no! I gotta jump now. I gotta jump now. I gotta shower. All right, chat. I'm out of here. Uh, I might be live around two or three uh, Eastern, so that would be in two or three hours. Um, I'll go live now if you want shit to be jumped on mine. Yeah, fucking spam your channel in the chat. Give me a. Let me do it. Give me a sec. Hey, if you don't watch my fucking channel, you're a shill. Just want to. Bro, say bro. Very true. Mm. That the fucking that that's Astro's validation right there. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting fucking getting outy. Oh. I love you crazy fucks. I'm fucking out of here. Uh follow me on Twitter at that guy Astro. Blah 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 blah. Like sub fondle. Thank you. <gasps> <laughs>